first to arrive with cameras installed to protect both you and me in places that we weren't that threatened and yet the people didn't see. And what followed were traffic restrictions to keep the roads quiet and clean. The maths didn't add up, nor the science, but still the people didn't see. And next came the 15 minute neighbourhoods to make our lives easier, decreed. To some, it seemed like restrictions, but still the people didn't see. And then came the digital ID, so convenient, easy and free. Your life in one chip on a mainframe. And still, the people didn't see. The cars they sold were electric, all wired to the government PC. And they switched off the driving on Sundays. And still, the people didn't see. And the banks moved their money to digital. And the government banned cash the next week. And the ability to fly was restricted. And still, the people didn't see. They linked up your money and profile to the ID on the government PC and connected it to social media. And still, the people didn't see. And then came a new cure, a new virus, safe and effective and free. They linked these jabs to your profile and connected the government PC. And when the people were locked in their cities, policed by their digital ID, unable to visit their loved ones, now, finally, the people can see. Restricted and tracked with no money. To go further, a permit you'll need, contained in your digital city. Oh, why did the people not see? These steps they've sold us as progress never looked to be quite what they seemed. And if you don't ask the questions in protest, then your children will never know free. There's no adverts on this video, so please get it shared.